Filoni Lamb Anbuhimo. And Anbuhimo is a Japanese style of carrier that only has straps around the shoulders. I got this carrier in mind that I knew we wanted to have another baby and I wanted a carrier that I could wear while I was pregnant. And this one's great because there's no strap around the waist at all. And um, the mountain equipment hiking backpack does have a strap around the waist, which you don't have to buckle it, you could wear it loose, but that's how it's designed. It's designed to have extra support around the waist, otherwise that gets really heavy just on your shoulders. This one, however, Gabriel sits really close to me, right next to my back, and he's a lot higher, so it makes the whole weight distribution a lot easier for my shoulders to take, and everything weighs a lot less. So this carrier actually weighs about all of one pound, and then put Gabriel in it, he can get up to, I believe, 35 pounds. I'll make a note on that. A huge perk of this backpack, this carrier, is that it's super compact. Um, it can literally go in your purse or your diaper bag. You know, there's no aluminum frame on it, um, nothing like that. It's just all cloth. So you can even throw it in your wash machine, which is really nice because it gets sweaty. You know, you go on hikes, you, you work up a bit of a sweat, and you don't want it to start stinking. I never put it in the dryer though, I will say that. I always let it air dry. A downside of this style carrier is that you can't wear a backpack behind him. I mean, if you want to try, go ahead, but I don't want to. Um, you could wear a backpack in the front. I've done that a few times, but like I said, being pregnant, that's just, it just gets too uncomfortable. Um, so that is one of the downsides to it. Uh, but it is good for, you know, walking around the store or short walks. It's really good if you're hiking with somebody who can carry the backpack of supplies. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, how to carry stuff. But like I said, if you're just trying to hike by yourself with your toddler, your baby, um, you do run into that problem of how do I carry everything else. There's no rain cover. <laughs> Yay! There's no sun cover. There is a bit of a hood with some strings that you can pull up over his head if he falls asleep so he can nap in it, but he's getting a little big for that. One of the good things about the Anbuhimo is that it covers a lot less of your body. There's strap in the front and then your shoulder straps, and that is it, you know, and it covers your upper back, but your lower back is pretty free. So there's a lot more ventilation and it's a little bit cooler to wear in the hot summer months. For me, it's a lot easier to put on and take off just because the whole thing weighs less. So I'll show you a little clip of how I put it on and take it off with Gabriel in it. Some people don't feel comfortable doing it that way, but I've practiced enough. I practiced the first couple times over my bed, you know, just in case he were to slip out, but he never has. As long as you have the straps over his shoulder, over both of his shoulders um, and have him tight in there enough. He's not gonna fall out. The Lenny Lamb on Buhimo does cause me some shoulder and a little bit of upper back pain after maybe a good 45 minutes into wearing it. So a lot less back pain for me compared to the mountain equipment co-op child carrier. But it is the opposite for my husband actually. He can't wear this carrier at all. It hurts his back so much. <laughs> he said it hurts his upper back, his lower back, and his shoulders. He said it's so uncomfortable. So again, it really just depends on the person who's wearing the carrier if it is going to cause you pain or be comfortable. Anbuhimos are supposed to be worn really high up on the shoulders. See how his head is pretty much shoulder height on me. That's how high he's supposed to be. So not supposed to be down low like the front carrier. Gabriel is comfortable in this carrier as long as we're moving. When I stand still in a store he gets he just gets antsy he wants to get out he wants to get down but as long as we're moving he's comfortable. He's taken plenty of naps in here too um, and for me 
it's really easy to take off too. Um, it's pretty much like setting him down with a coat on because this carrier weighs, you know, all of one pound. This is also a really nice carrier to wear with him around the house um, when I'm trying to get some cooking done or get a couple other things done. Um, and he is just so fussy, he just wants to be held, but I don't have enough hands. I can put him in here and get things done around the house. The other backpack, on the other hand, is way too big and bulky. I'm always running into walls. I can't turn around and, uh, you know, so it's good for outside. This one's good for outside and inside, which is really convenient. Um, and I found out about the Anbuhimo through another YouTube channel called Wrap You In Love. I'll link that down below in case you're interested. The woman who hosts the channel shows every single type of wrap carrier you can imagine, every wrap style. I'd actually really love to learn how to wear the woven wraps with him on my back and then also for our next baby in the front. So I'll link that channel down below so you can check her out as well. There is another brand of Anguhimo that I'd love to try called Soul Slings. I'll link that down below too and I'll link um, where you can purchase each of these carriers as well in case you're interested. I have read reviews on the Soul Sling on Buhimo. It's a little pricier, but I know that the reviews say that the padding on the shoulders is a lot thicker than the Lenny Lamb on Buhimo. So I would love to try that since this carrier does cause a little bit of shoulder pain for me. But all in all, I like this carrier a lot. Um, it's a great fit for me, for hiking, um, and even wearing around the house. All right, this is our Lenny Lamb Ambuhimo, which my husband is not a huge fan of, and you guys know I am. So again, it just depends on the person, what kind of carrier works best for you, but he's gonna show us his version of how he attempts to put Gabriel <laughs> in it. All right, go ahead, honey. So I lay it on the ground, <laughs> put him on the ground. And you wanna just make sure it's over the top of his arms? So he's nice and secure in there. <laughs> I don't like this one. <sighs> and then he throws it on like a backpack. So I had to help my husband <laughs> pull the that fabric up under him. He's not really sure how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how in the next clip. Um, and then you've got a couple different straps that you can tighten and loosen. So this you can tighten and loosen depending on if you have bigger shoulders or smaller shoulders and it just kind of um, makes this loop around your shoulders, bigger or smaller. You've got your front buckle up here, you can tighten that and Both do the same thing, but if it's easier for you to pull down, do that. I, I find it's kind of awkward to pull down when he's in here, so I just pull up on this one. And this tightens um, your entire backpack so that Gabriel is lifted up higher so that he sits on your upper back instead of down low. So see how his head is at shoulder level? That is where it's supposed to be. And um, it's comfortable at a different height for different people. So you just gotta find your sweet spot. All right, so go ahead and tighten it and show them how that works. It's a little easier to pull up. And I did wanna mention it's got this hood back here. So it is actually a little small for Gabriel right now, but um, it comes with this little hood in case he were to fall asleep. And there's nothing really to buckle it to, which I'm not a fan of. And you just have to slide it under this right here to get it to stay. But again, I mean, it's only for smaller babies and you know, Gabriel's not at the weight limit yet, so 
uh, and it's, he's already outgrown it. So I'm not a fan of that hood. Um, and so you, know, you can see there's no rain cover, no sun cover, anything like that. So what are your thoughts on the Lenny Lamb of the Limo? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It's difficult to put on. I feel like he's going to fall. I feel like he's getting squished on my back. And then right now, every, every movement, I feel it a little too much and it kind of feels awkward, in my opinion. So, I don't like this thing much, but uh, you love it. So I do, yeah. It, it just depends on body types and all yep. that. So. Yeah. Personally, I don't like it. I like the simpler carriers, the ones that you just hook on two clips. <laughs> done. This thing is just like a hassle to put on. Sure. <laughs> straps here, straps there everywhere. <laughs> sure. And then this is how I take this thing off. Because I honestly don't know how else I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well Gabriel's having fun, so <laughs> <laughs> have fun. And that's it. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so this is my version of how I put the Anbu Hemo on with Gabriel in it. I have him stand up, which is nice and convenient. And then I put it around his shoulders. And his quick, put his arm like so, right there. And then put it on his It's okay, honey. Ready? Are you ready? between you and him. So I kind of jump, scoot it up. So he's got nice padding. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tighten my straps. Again, adjust my padding, make sure he's nice and high on my back. And then adjust everything so that it's comfortable for me. And yeah, this one's much more comfortable for me in my opinion just because maybe I have smaller frame, different body type, just kind of depends on the person so um, it only causes some shoulder and upper back pain after maybe half an hour, 45 minutes of wearing it which is great if you're going for a short hike or a walk. Um, I do wish it had more padding in the shoulders but that's okay. Um, and then so to take this off, I loosen the front just a little, I loosen my straps here a little bit, unbuckle, keep one arm under his bottom at all times so he's nice and secure to me. I take my left arm out of that arm strap and I'm just going to scoot him out to the front. And he likes that part. And I hold him. Nice and tight to me while I take it out of his legs. And we're all done. Can you say thank you for watching? No. Can you say bye-bye? Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.